previously on Let's Play Manhunt 2. Our main man, Danny Lamb, aka D Lamb, along with his boy Leo, take it to the streets. Nothing stands in Danny's way. He's gonna cut throats, break necks, and rip as many ball sacks as he needs to get to the truth. And when he finally reaches the old safe house, an old picture brings up old memories. I'm Nick Meister, and this is Let's Play Hitman Bl uh... <laughs> I'm Nick Meister, and this is Let's Play Manhunt 2. Let the killing continue. I'm sorry, Danny, but, but, but it's gotta be this way. The Pikmin Bridge. Remove it. Get it out of my head so I can think straight. If you thought I would do that, you're out of your fucking mind. <laughs> Michael? Where are we? All units into position. Terminate both targets. Repeat, both targets. What? Not both targets, not me, you fucking assholes! They're gonna be here any minute. Now, oh, Mike's still got the keys. We're gonna have to find him. All right. I'll take care of this one. So this is the he first the stage where we it's play as Leo, Danny's mentor in murder, and uh, Over here. <clears throat> there's really no difference except for the fact that you don't hear Leo uh, egging egging anyone on because he's the one doing the killing, and uh, there's a helicopter from Sarge's Heroes Army Men from, you know, that N64 game floating around there, so we can't go out in the open, and we'll kill us pretty fast. And we happen to be at uh, Fisto Sugar Factory. It's kind of an odd name for sugar, Snap but hey. Out of it. It's me, Michael. Now, we gotta Remember? chase down uh, Michael here. Drop that key, Mikey. He's got the key to the boat. I'm not really sure <clears throat> did this to what us. his plan was. Uh, maybe he was gonna give us up to the project, and now he finds that, uh, well, the project's really more interested in killing both of them to cover up the tracks. It's kind of a typical evil corporation move, you know? And, uh... Make me kill you. Whoa, hey, hey, we just want to talk. Come on. I'm pretty sure Leo just wants to talk. I mean, it, this is not uh, he just has that hook because, uh... Listen up. We got a All right, so, uh... There. You two start a sweep from this side. Yeah. Here's some new guys. Um, I don't really think they have a name. I mean, you know, they don't have a name like the Watch Dogs They're, or the Red Kings. They're just some soldier guys. Soldier guys who say a lot of funny things. Oh, Fisto. And it kind of seems like it's supposed to be a derelict factory, but at the same time, there's lots of machinery running. Kind of makes you wonder. I mean, do they just turn on the machines and let them run overnight? Do robots just make all the sugar in the world? I, I don't know. It's kind of a dark, dark world. A dark world where only robots make sugar. And psycho killers run amok. And I don't know where I was going with that. So this guy's got a knife on his back, but he's using a, a baton. I'm not really sure what that's all about. Let's throw him in this thing over here. All right, get in there, you fucker. Yeah. Nice. Nice and juicy. <laughs> So, uh, here's probably the best hiding spot in the whole room. You get a great vantage point, and, uh, let's kill this guy. Right, so, um, not really much new going on here. Um, I mean, there will be some new things coming up. Not quite yet, though. kind of feel like this stage really offers a, a real playground for the skills that you may have developed uh, so far in the game. Um, if you can call them skills, I mean... This jungle has eyes. You know, this game would be much better if it was better. You know, if, if that makes sense. Um, probably doesn't really make sense, but... I'm doing my best to, to use everything the game's given me so far. Make the gameplay more interesting to look at. Okay. It's one of my favorites here. And as you can notice... That guy is stunned when he sees us killing his friend. Uh, in the first manhunt, that never happened. Basically, 
What's going on in there? What would happen is they you would calmly watch, watch you one. executing your friend and then come after you right us? away. Waste them. In Manhunt 2, uh, they're actually shocked for a second. They'll stand there in disbelief. They'll vomit. Uh, and it gives, you, it gives you a slight edge over the enemy, you know. And it makes sense. I mean, you just brutally murder their friend. Uh, you know, uh, I mean, it makes sense that they might be stunned, at least for a little bit, you know. Instead, it's calmly watching you chop the guy's head off. So anyway, this enemy here is our very first enemy with a gun. Now, uh, someone pointed out in the thread, I think a little earlier, uh, they did improve the shooting mechanics a little bit. So, uh, what Manhunt 2 did is they put in a lot of shooting. And I'll be honest, uh, the shooting in this game sucks. <laughs> you know, it's, it's terrible. It's, it's better than Manhunt 1, but that's kind of like saying Stalin is better than Hitler, you know? Because Stalin, uh, I don't know. I don't know where I was going with that. The point is, Manhunt 2 sucks, and so does the shooting. So, here's our first gun. It's a Glock, I guess, or some sort of tiny 9mm BB gun. It's really only useful if you get headshots. Um, and I'm looking for ammo. I think the contents of these lockers are random, so I think there's really painkillers in here. Painkillers that we don't need. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, coming up next, Fuck! gotta be really careful with this guy, because this guy in the open. if you don't shoot him fast enough, Stop! he'll actually execute Michael. Now, if he executes Michael, uh, you fail the stage. Not really sure why, since, I mean, we're trying to kill Michael. We're not just gonna talk to him. You know, so I don't understand why the stage would end early, but, hey, you know. I guess, uh, I guess just, that's just the way things are. Gotta get that key. That boat is our only way Alright, well, let's go up here and, uh, chase after Mikey here. And, nope, the, the door's locked. What a surprise. So, gotta take the long way around. That's okay. Gonna head over here. And, uh, the game's gonna introduce cover again. You know. Um... It wants us to take cover and shoot, but there's no point because um, the guns are, in the, at this particular stage, are ridiculously weak. Um, you know, there's really no danger at all from these guys. They can't headshot you, and the guns do such tiny amount of damage. I mean, really, a guy with a bat would be more dangerous than these guys. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah. Now at this point, uh, most people playing the game probably just run through and blow everyone's head off. And that's boring, you know? Very boring. I mean, there's, there's going to be a lot of uh, boring shooting stages coming up in the later levels. And, uh, you know, I, I don't want to subject you to that too early. I'm going to try to inoculate you slowly to that boring drudgery that is uh gunplay in manhunt too I don't trust this all right oh boy oh you really got in there really got in there so somehow this guy spotted me but that's okay because it it's gonna give me a new chance to show off uh, off another new feature in manhunt too and that's gun executions. Let's check it out. Let's see how that works. Open wide. Oh, nice. So, <clears throat> thing about the PC version is that they actually removed most of the gun executions. You know, for the for the PlayStation 2 version, uh, every gun has its own uh, its own execution animation. Not so for the PC version. It's kind of a disappointment, really. I don't understand why they did that. It's not like they had to censor it, and it's not like they needed more space. It's the PC version. But, uh, hey, what can you do? Now, I guess if you're really interested, you can look it up on uh, YouTube. I know I did. So, they put, uh... 
I don't, I don't know. There's really not much to say. Let's see if we can get this guy. He's gonna run over to his friend. And are those hay ba are those bales of hay? What's what's hay doing here? I don't I don't really know much about sugar, folks. Can you help me out? Uh, there's, there's, does this uh, hay have anything to do with sugar? You know? I don't know. Alright. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Really get up in there. And off with his head. There we go. Alright. Let's pick up his head. And a plastic bag. So, uh... What else is there to say, really? <laughs> um... Kinda gotta wonder who Leo the is. The I mean, mongoose is in the cookie jar. Mongoose is in the cookie jar, huh? Towards the gates of death go I. Oh god, just <laughs> shut up. Ugh, man. I mean, Leo's a killing machine, isn't he? He just he's headshotting commandos one after the other. You know, he's ripping people's heads off. Oh wow. You sure got the jump on me, pal. <laughs> oh, boy. Alright, so here's, uh... I think the last, uh... Body puzzle there'll be in the game. Oh, well, except for one much later, but... We'll, we'll, we'll see that when we get there. Alright, it's in the red. Let's put him down. Okay, and it's in the green now. Great. That probably means we can proceed. Okay, let's try this out. So this is just giving us the uh, the answer to the puzzle that we already knew. It's kind of obvious, really. And I uh, wonder what's going to happen now. Let's watch and see. Oh, gross. Oh, man. <laughs> well, I guess he's just a big block of sugar now. Huh. So, uh, no, oh, Jesus, what is there to say, really? Um, this is actually my second take. You know, I'm, I'm trying to get away from uh, commenting on everything that actually happens in the game. I'm trying to You're think of other stuff to talk about, because you know, after a while, I'm sure to get kind of old listening to me going, "Ew," and ah, I just cut off that guy's head, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know, so I'm just trying to branch out a little bit here. Um, there's a glass shard laying there for some reason. I don't know why. I'm not gonna let you kill me. So anyway, as you may have noticed, uh Gimme that fucking key. Michael's got a flare gun. Now flare gun is dangerous. It's much more dangerous than the pea shooters they've been using on us so far. Uh, we gotta be really careful how we approach Michael. Um, if we just get up in his face and we don't kill him immediately, he will kill us. Now, he yeah, did quite a bit of damage, and that was far away. Um, <laughs> Manhunt 2 doesn't have catching fire physics, but uh, you will get fucked up if you're not careful. There are more bales of hay for some reason in a sugar factory. I'm not really sure what that's all about. Fuck the project! I quit! I quit! No, you can't quit now, Michael. It's too late. So, here's Michael's last stand, and we still want to be careful. Although, as you can see, picking him off from here is going to take quite a while. Either that or Michael's just one tough SOB. And what? How do we get over here? Huh. Um, half the time when you kill Michael, his head will explode whether or not you shoot him in the head. I guess the developers were just really sure that you want to shoot your best friend in the face. I don't know what that's all about. So, I picked up the flare gun, and the flare gun's much better than the gun we just had. It's a one-hit kill weapon, no matter where you hit them, no matter how far away uh, you shoot them, as you can see. And we want to be careful not to walk over that burning body. There we go. Now, uh, it's not much farther until the end of the stage. Really just a few more commandos between us and the boat. So let's get on that.
It's kind of... The stage is really kind of, uh... Disappointing. I mean, uh... Oh, screaming in unison there. This part of the stage really is a drag. Compared to... The first part of the stage, where you get to sneak around and throw people in, uh... And that giant press or whatever it is, and you know, I mean, the guns in this game just really kind of makes you wonder what they were thinking about. You know, it, I mean, were they really that proud of their shooting system? You know, did they really think, you know, did they really think gunplay is what makes manhunt manhunt? No, I don't. I don't think so. You know, I disagree. But well. What's done is done, really. And we're in the home stretch here. Just gonna run over here. There's another checkpoint, but really it's not necessary. I guess it's just... Just there, just in case. Ugh. You know, as crappy as this game is, it actually does have some nice design elements. Alright. No matter how far away we are... No matter where we shoot them, one hit kill. And he's last man standing. You know, let's just uh let's finish this close and personal. Let's uh let's use this plastic bag. You know, I haven't seen a plastic bag kill in a while. Let's let's do that. Alright. And uh let's go for a level two go. <sighs> Alright, and that's it. They're all dead. Leo is an unstoppable killing machine. You know, it really makes you wonder who Leo is. I wish we could have learned more, but uh... Alright, so here's the boat. The only thing left to do is just hop on and get out of here, wherever here is. Alright. If the project wants a war, they got one. Huh. <laughs> that was quite a quite a thrilling conclusion to this chapter, wouldn't you say? <laughs> so, uh what did we learn? We learned that we killed Michael, or Leo killed Michael. I'm not really sure what uh, Danny was doing, maybe he was just standing by, you know, twiddling his thumbs, playing Game Boy in the boat. Uh, for some reason, we're at the Sugar Factory. Uh, I don't know. I'm Nick Meister, I'll see you next time.